Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. My name is Mighty High, and I am very excited to start a new series on this channel. If you don't buy now, uh, we are in 1.20 now. Yes, and this involves a lot of new things, and unfortunately, a lot of very easy biomes to find uh, that haven't been explored yet. Hence why we kind of, uh, unfortunately, need to start a new world. But I'm very excited to also not just start a new world, but also get some really cool build ideas and also new farms going. So I have a really cool seed. So this is the world that I've uh, put up. If I go to slash seed, uh, if you want to use this seed, you can do. One really cool thing about this is that there is a woodland mansion literally just over there. Um, and yeah, so we start off in the hills. I thought I uh, was recording earlier. But apparently not. This is probably going to be a little bit glitchy when it, until it loads in. But we can see over there we've got a jungle as well. And also, most importantly, bamboo. Uh, so I think that's where we're going to head off for to start with. Um, because I think uh, we're going to collect a few things. Also, we need a... Uh, crafting bench and we could also do with an axe as well not a sword an axe the reason why i say an axe is because uh it's just a waste of wood otherwise especially this early uh so if we make two sticks from planks like that uh, and then two sticks like that so we need three planks and two sticks uh so like that and then like that that makes ourselves a axe uh, so we can grab that. That will kill stuff and it will also one make it faster-ish to uh, chop down wood like this. Uh, so it's slightly faster than using your hand. And also it can kill or it, it can kill enemies faster or mobs faster, shall I say. Like we need a uh, wool for sheep. An example just lying here. So we can use this instead of a sword and it does the same amount of damage it's certainly better than using our fist for these uh so yeah so that's what we do we just literally just uh kill these so we need to keep find another sheep oh not even hard to do uh and now we've got enough wool to make a bed but also there's a, a potential chance of baby mobs to be uh spawning in the world now as well so that's really cool uh but for now i can also do this and craft ourselves a bed this will one make us sleep during the night and also it will stop mobs from spawning uh, hopefully i'm going to take this chance to literally just walk to my destination but before i do that look over there i don't have the cheat zoom key unfortunately but that is the new biome as well which we're going to be taking a look at in other episodes but yeah let's sleep as well but for today, it's all about surviving your first few days and finding a place where you will be happy to uh, explore your world. Okay, so we've come up towards uh, the bamboo and we're in the uh, jungle, almost, that we uh, saw earlier on in the last clip. And we're basically just going to be taking a little bit of this. Uh, we don't need loads because this stuff really does grow fast. Um, and I'd rather preserve this biome as it is for now because I do like what we're uh, building in a jungle but I don't think we're going to be needing to so I'm just going to take a few bits of bamboo uh, like half a stack is probably more than enough and I wasn't expecting it but uh, as we've already seen right in front of us there's uh, some melons here so we can grab these even if it's only like six that's more than enough Turn them into seeds immediately before I uh, eat them, because it's me. Uh, there are more here. I didn't realise that. So melons do spawn in the jungle. That is the only biome you will find them. They are so useful to have. Uh, they are easy to find in a jungle. You'll find them pretty much anywhere in a jungle. But they're so easy to have earlier, later on in the game when you get towards villager breeding and uh, villager trading, because... Farmers really like their melons and you can get them down to pretty cheap as well and they make really good and fun farms to build as well. Anyway, uh, we are off to our destination. If I come across anything that's useful, 
I will give you a shout. Look what we found. Uh, we are in a savannah biome, but uh, we've got some uh, pumpkins now, so we can actually make a melon and pumpkin farm pretty early on. Uh, providing we have the uh, redstone for it. That's a different thing altogether. This is really glitchy still loading in. Uh, we, I've got a few stuff on my travels. I've also got myself a boat. You can make a boat with uh, some planks and stuff. Uh, still heading off to my destination. We've also found another early game easy resource that's uh, fun to build farms with. And that's of course sugarcane. Also we need sugarcane for uh, paper and rockets later on in the game. So it's always good to have as much sugarcane as you can possibly grow early on. All right, all right, all right. This was not something I was expecting to come across. I should probably sleep as well. Uh, I don't want any baddies coming my way. Ooh, that looks cool. That's obviously the savannah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was not expecting to see a um, mangrove swamp biome this early on. And also, not just this early on, but this big as well. Um, I do not feel like it would be ad a, a very good idea going through this. But I kind of have to. Oh, there's little... Oh, these aren't technically new. Uh, I mean, they're new-ish. But there's little froggies down there. Oh, look at them. Oh, we're definitely going to be uh, doing something with them later. Uh, we should also... Why not take these uh, profigules as well? Uh, so we can do some more things with them. Uh, I don't have silk touch for them. But we could take the profigules and grow them at some point. I think they're easy enough to grow. I don't know if... Uh, we, I think we only need a mud block to grow them. Uh, so we can take a couple of them. I, um, eh? Did I not pick them up? Alright, F3B to see if we pick them up. Uh, no, I didn't pick them. What? Anyway, we've got a few profiles now. Let's take hitboxes off. Uh, we need to traverse this swamp still. We need to go this way, essentially. I do have a boat that might help a, a little bit. Uh, but only until we get to areas like this, but then then we're literally swamped again. All right, all right. You guys probably guessed where I was uh, heading, but if you don't, we are coming up to it right now. Uh, um, well, I didn't realise there was a, actually going to be a desert temple there. Uh, that's going to be fun to explore, no doubt. Uh, but yeah, I am going to be building in this desert. I am going to call this home, I think... There's also a village here somewhere close as well. So yeah, this is going to be home for the next uh, foreseeable future. Also, this is quite a big desert and I really love the hills. And there's also a mesa quite next to it as well. So yep, there is definitely a village over there. So we are going to... Uh, what the fuck happened there? Anyway, oh yeah, boats have changed, haven't they? They're now a pixel above so they can going water and stuff anyway uh that's besides the point there is a village over here that we are going to commandeer and hopefully try to keep safe at the same time this is a big village we can start getting some bamboo growing uh that's kind of a thing we can do so i forgot you can uh, you can uh, plant bamboo on sand now that's so useful i don't know if that's uh 1.20 change or not i think it is uh so that's good to know I don't think villages have changed specifically too much, but there is a new mob uh, that's been introduced, which you find in villages, not cats, obviously. Uh, and uh, there it is right here. Oh, the camel. My first ever look at camels. Oh, and they so cute. Oh. Oh, they've got such a cool animation. Oh. We definitely need to keep that guy safe. Uh, so yeah, so uh, we can't do anything with that guy yet. Uh, because apparently there's only one per village. It's not necessarily guaranteed to be in a village. So we got lucky here. Uh, probably because of its vast amount of villagers. Because I've seen baby villagers around here as well. This is a really cool start. Um, there's also loads of hay bales around. So we're going to be alright on food. Uh, so we can just grab this. Uh, take the hay bales. Uh, we've got ourselves a crafting bench. 
uh, and turn this into wheat and then use this wheat to make bread and then we can eat this for the foreseeable future. I say that until it runs out actually. Not only have we been successful in, oh there's a rabbit there, anyway, uh, been successful in finding a village and also a camel, uh, a village with a camel in it, uh, we also need to do the same. We need to find another village with another camel, bring these two camels together and uh, mate them. But also, you find loot in villages. So in these tall buildings here, you're most likely going to find a chest with a, some random loot in it. Normally it's not good, but it's enough to get a new player started, like me, on what we need to do. And there's also a book in there. So that's good. Uh, so we are going to just go around this village and see if there's actually anything worth grabbing. This one mine. Ah, oh, it's cool. Oh, nice, bookshelves. How many villagers are there in this village? Jesus Christ, man. Screenshot and a half, eh? This is the forge you'll see concrete here. A concrete, uh, uh, cobblestone and also lava. You'll also see a couple of furnaces outside and a chest with gold in it and a nice little chest plate and an iron pickaxe. Straight off the bat. That is some really good loot. First off, we need to build ourselves a little mine and I could actually just like hijack some of this, but I think uh, if I go over here and dig ourselves down, we're probably eventually hit a cave. Uh, we could also just use this area down here and then follow that area actually. That might actually be a better way. First thing we need to do is find some coal so that we can make some torches to light our way through the caves and normally you'll find them uh, or you used to be able to find loads of coal underneath in the caves like this but it's better for you to actually find caves on top of the clip uh, on top of mountains these days in minecraft but there's some coal here uh with of course a skeleton that wants to have a go at me so <laughs> <laughs> I've only got a pickaxe, but I'm hoping I can kill this guy before he kills me. Oh my god, the, I really don't want to die on my first try and on my first episode at least. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, uh, normally you'd probably have like an axe or something, but I don't have anything. So we're going to have to tr uh, tr uh, treacherously go into the caves to find a little bit of iron so that we can get a shield and stuff. Oh, there's a little bit of iron there actually we can get a shield from. Uh, so we can get, this is iron ore, nice. Uh, oh, and we can also get stone. Uh, we were probably supposed to have made a stone pickaxe the way we make a pickaxe normally, which is free stone and sticks. But because we found this one in a chest, I'm just using it and it's gonna be a lot faster as well. Uh, so I'm primarily just gonna look for some coal and iron. I'm also not going to try and go too deep into the cave at the moment because I don't feel like testing my strength at the moment. Let's see if we can find anything around here because this area is relatively safe uh, considering there's mobs over there but I think we'd be... no we won't be okay. Okay let's get away from here. I'm away. Let's run. Let's go. Right. I'm out of here. I'm gone. See you later. Please don't kill me. Uh, uh, no. Two more hits and I would have been dead. So, yeah. Okay, we've got enough iron for what we need anyway. Uh, so let's put this... Let's just use this smelt. Right, so let's put some coal in there and smelt up this iron. We smelt this raw iron to get an iron ingot. And then what we do with that is... So that should be done now. Or almost done. We'll just leave that smelting, I think. But we will take some sticks and also some of this, but these birch logs. We'll also take them as well. We'll convert these into planks and then sticks. Because uh, I'm hoping that we'll find some coal in the caves so that we can make more torches. Uh, because that's exactly what we're going to do with uh, these. And for some reason the recipe's not coming up for me. Uh... I don't know why, I should be able to make torches now, right? Uh, but if not, uh, coal there, torch underneath, and we got some torches. Now I can make some torches. I don't know why, uh, you either have to make it or have the thing on you in order for it to craft. I don't know if that's a bug or not. 
Uh, either way, I've never had that with torches, of all things. Uh, but yeah, so, yeah, also we want, um, I made a shield, and I left it there. We need that. Hey? Confusion. I s I'm fairly certain I made a shield, didn't I? There, right, let's make a shield. That's definitely in our inventory now. What's oh, right, I do have two shields on me. Uh, alright, evil. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Right, okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave it there for an episode. Uh, we've uh, not really got much accomplished, but at least we've got a pretty decent outline for what we can do next episode so next episode we'll be visiting the caves as we almost did today uh we are almost set for the caves at least so that's good and uh we'll see what happens i've actually recorded it but still thank you very much for watching my name is mighty eye if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads i've been mighty eye thank you very much for watching goodbye